Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is our weekly rundown of cool, interesting and awesome updates that's been happening within the Blender community and also within the Blender development cycle. And today we do have a couple of news and updates that you might find interesting. First off, we're going to talk about the new release of Blender 2.83.3 LTS that is now available. So sometime last week, last two weeks, we did talk about Blender 2.83.2 being available and it's cool to see, you know, there's a cool follow up following the LTS release schedule of things that is supposed to come. And it's also very interesting to see that some bug fixes has been made, you know, that has to do with either the GPU cycles, the overlays, the sculpt performance, the grease pencil, and also the workbench. So there's a whole lot of updates that has now been made and i'm going to put a link in the description for you to see that and moving forward within the lts section that we also have 2.9 and 2.91 which is bringing us to something quite interesting as right now if you simply go over to the blender download section if we simply go all the way to the experimental you would now notice that we have blender 2.90.0 in beta and blender 2.91.0 in alpha which is very very exciting now it's exciting because we already anticipated and we've seen a lot of features coming over to blender 2.9 and it's pretty cool to see that it's in alpha right now which is pairing everyone for the release which is supposed to be coming sometime 26th of august and with that if you also go over to reference you would see that almost everything is beginning to get tidied up as you would now notice the blender 2.9 is in beacon 3 and this is going to go all the way to 19th of August. Contrary to Blender 2.91, which is in alpha right now, you can only notice that the grease pencil is the only thing that we have right here. And there is, you know, literally little to no updates to this. And speaking about updates that is now available with the Blender 2.90, which is now in beta, there are a couple of things that you guys need to know. So first things first is the updates to the UV editing. Of course, we've talked about this one before. So if you want to see more about that, I'm going to put a link in the description. Then the next thing, which is more of an update to the Blender 2.90 beta is if you take a look right here, you will see that we have that and you can now right click and choose to see you know your video memory which is your vram you can also see your system memory you can right click and show your scene statistics you can actually do all of this right now i don't know the reason why this has been taken off and dropped in you know spaces like this but i mean if this is something that would make you happy you can now easily do all of those something else which is very very visible is if we simply bring out suzanne the monkey right here and proceed to make you know a subdivision of this and apply that subdivision you remember the last time when we talked about the whole you know uh vertex sculpting thing we actually talked about it that if you want to make it active you need to go over to edit go over to preference and once you load up your preference within your interface you need to make sure you have the developers tool turned on now why i'm talking about this right now is once you do that you can also go over to experimental and turn on the sculpt that is color there is an update to this and that's the reason why we're talking about it so for you to see your sculpting or you know see your vertex color while you sculpt you need to switch over to the sculpting section let's actually drag this a little bit like that and switch these to vertex now there is an update to the smell so if we simply pick out some colors and just randomly paint some colors right there press f on your keyboard to increase this and let's just paint in some colors like so cool so if you select the smear right now the smear now has some deformation types and you can find those deformation types right here so we have about three different deformation types so these are updates to the smear brush that we have right now so you can choose to use it at the drag the pinch the expand and all of these are things that are proposed to actually help you while you're working. Something else which I think is an anticipation of things to come, there will be a color palette that will be coming probably with Blender 2.91. Of course, there is nothing that has been talked about that yet, but if you simply take a look at the developer's meeting note, this is under the commit section and you know, if you're intending to play with this tool right here this is something that you should take a look at so moving on from this there is also some very interesting news updates that you guys need 
to know and we are talking about nothing more than Tom Rosendale actually still publishing the fact that there are jobs that are still available there is three open positions right now that you can sink your teeth in so if, if you're a senior back-end developer a writer editor blogger if you can take the role of a developer community coordinator these are jobs that are available and I'm also gonna put a link in the description so you can check these things out so if you're thinking you know that you would actually find a good place working with the guys at blender foundation you can simply you know come through and apply for this one and this is going to make sense because some of these stuff are fully paid jobs and you know since blender is being funded by a couple of companies this is very very interesting and speaking about companies that blender is being funded by b waters so b water animation studio is actually you know being part of the blender development fund as they are coming as uh, a corporate bronze member so right now they're joining the blender development fund as bronze members and you know corporate bronze members and you can see them right here so it's a pretty cool animation company and it's very interesting to see that we have more and more companies integrating blender into their pipeline and also giving out so much support for this you know particular brand for this particular tool and this is actually refreshing so with all of this said right now there are some awesome looking stuff that you would probably want to know so some of the things that you might want to know if we simply go over to the meeting notes right now is there are some updates that you can see so there are some override updates there's a python api update there is also some user interface updates and these are very tiny little changes that you probably wouldn't feel so much but then it makes a lot of sense as most of them have now commits and if you take a look at the blender 2.90 you would also notice that they are setting features and stuff that are also being added so if you're thinking about the whole vr scene inspection add-on update that has been patched yeah we did cover something about it so i'm going to put a link in the description so you can check that out and at the same time if you're wondering about the uv editing i'm also going to put a link in the description so you can take a look at that speaking about things that you should also keep an eye for and also take a look at is something that pablo dubaro is actually working on so he's working on a new sculpt boundary brush and this can be used for regular sculpting at the same time you can use them for hard surface you know sculpting hard surface modeling now the whole idea here is the brush actually dictates the mesh boundary which is closest to the active vertex and what it does is it just simply propagates some certain form of deformation by simply using the brush fall off as this actually paints over or you know sculpt on top of the mesh and some features that this particular brush is coming with includes like the bend the expand you know inflate grab twist and other forms of deformation something else which is going to make a lot of sense for a lot of people is if you're into sculpting as well and maybe you're into painting as well he's also working on a very nice physical brush now what this physical brush would do is it's going to simulate brush fibers across meshes and textures so this is actually something that is in progress as you can use this to either sculpt or paint and the implementation for this one also works with some sort of fall off type which simulates the individual fibers of a brush while you're painting across this also deals a lot with how you choose to paint so the amount of details that you get on a given surface is dependent on how much movement that you actually do with the brush so these are some very interesting and exciting stuff that's been happening across the blender you know foundation for a while now and these are some very quick updates so just in case so these are the updates that are available for the week and just in case there is any of them that i can of me please put them in the comment section and of course there are several stuff that the guys from blender foundation have been doing and if you're very interested with working with the guys at the blender foundation simply take a look at the link in the description there's also a couple of links in the description that can guide you to several add-ons to several you know videos and tutorials that you might want and of course i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section blender 2.91 is now in alpha what do you expect what are the things that you kind of think that will be coming to this and of course what do you also think about the new set of little tiny updates and features that are now coming to the beta version of blender 2.90.0 tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video 
or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace